Hello, I'm Andrew with s, &S Diesel Motorsport, and today I'd like to talk with you about the most common fuel injector misconception that we see. And that would be that energizing time, also known as pulse, uh, people assume that it equals injection duration. It does not equal injection duration. They are very different. Uh, first example today is going to be with the solenoid injector. This would be examples of like a 5.967 Cummins, LB7 through LMM Duramax, and they're not all identical in how they function, but they're, they're similar enough that we'll group them all into one, one basket here. So that would be our current trace. Your energizing time here is going to be 1200 microseconds. That is how long you are firing the injector, how long you're activating the coil. Your actual injection duration when the fuel is spraying in is more like that. So you see that we have a delay in the beginning here. From our start of energizing to start of injection, we have about 300 microseconds of delay. From our end of energizing to our end of injection, we have roughly 800 microsecond delay. So, for our actual injection duration, with that energizing time, it puts you at 1200 minus 300 microseconds plus 800. So, 1700 microseconds of actual injection duration. Next example we'll have is going to be the piezo injector, like the Ford Scorpion or the LML. Piezo injectors have a significantly different function, but still have a delay time. So, when you fire a piezo injector, you actually charge the crystal, so it's a quick pulse. And then when you're ready to stop injecting, you have another quick pulse to discharge. We'll use the same energizing time here, 1200 microseconds. So on this, our injector delay is a little bit less for opening but our end of injection is significantly longer. For a piezo injector, you're gonna be roughly 200 microseconds for the start of energizing to start of injection, but then your end of injection is going to be your 1200 microseconds minus your 200 times two. So in this case, it's going to be roughly 2000 microseconds of injection duration. Uh, why is that? Well, that's because when you fire it, your needle starts to come up and it continues to rise in a piezo injector until you discharge and then it continues to drop until you stop injecting. So the longer you energize it, the higher your needle goes and the longer it takes for the injector to close. On the solenoid injector, you actually have a needle lift stop in there. So it comes up, over, and down. So once you hit peak needle lift, which happens at about 800 microseconds, uh, plus or minus depending on the injector and the build, your end of energizing to end of injection time will stay the same. So with a solenoid, if we shift this over 200 microseconds to 1000, it's going to shift that over 200 microseconds, so we'd be at 1500 for injection duration. And that's going to be a very consistent 800 microseconds all the time, once you hit peak needle lift. Piezo injector, because your needle continues to rise and rise and rise, that means that your end of energizing to end of injection time continues to extend the longer that you hold your injector open. Now, here we have an example of a 6-7 Cummins injector. This would be a, just a stock injector that we mapped out. And you can see that at one millisecond or a thousand microseconds of energizing time, we're at roughly 1500 or 1. 1500 microseconds or 1.5 milliseconds of injection duration. And you go out to two uh, milliseconds, same thing. We're at 2.5 for our actual duration with a two of energizing time. So you can see that our 500 microsecond offset is pretty consistent all the way through there. Uh, the next thing would be, why does this matter? Well, what we see 
with a lot of uh, aftermarket injectors, not all, is that people will band-aid their injector builds for nozzle flows that are not consistent. So you'll see an in a rake shape like that on an injector, but then they have another one that has a little bit different nozzle flow, a little bit lower. So it's not getting quite the peak rate, but they want the same quantity. So they extend the end of injection to get the quantity the same. Um, that is not what you want in a set of injectors that's going in your truck. You want to have the same start of energizing, the same end of energizing, or end of injection, with the same current trace. You want them all to be consistent. And uh, the next reason that this would matter is for uh, tuning of your engine. If you're concerned about when your end of injection is happening, because you don't want to be injecting as the piston's heading down too far, you want to know from the end of energizing to when your end of injection is, so that you can protect your engine from injecting too late in the cycle. Whew. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this information is useful for you and there's more videos to come soon.